Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In the previous video, I had explained you about the alter table commands in PostgreSQL database. And in this video, we will see privileges in PostgreSQL database. Privileges means the DCL. DCL stands for Data Control Language. As the name suggests, we can understand that it is for controlling the data. That means who can have the access to particular data it can be table it can be view it can be procedure function and other objects as well typically the role that executed the creation statement by default only the owner or a super user can interact with the object so to allow other roles to access or modify objects privileges must be granted and conversely privileges can be revoked when it is required so to give the privilege, we will use the grant command and to revoke the privileges, we will use the revoke command. So to explain the examples, what I have done, I have already done setup for the database and the schema and user. So I have created a database named company and within that I have created two schema, HR schema and project schema and public schema is the default schema in PostgreSQL. Whenever you create a database, one default schema public got created automatically so the owner will be the user postgres means the external user that is i have already created is called joe so we'll test all our privileges trying to give the privileges to the user joe and revoke the privileges so let's get started so to explain this i have logged in into the pg admin tool using the postgres user and i have logged in into the dweaver tool using the joe user i can show you so here I have logged in using the Joe user. Now what I'm trying to do is I have created a table called employee table in the HR schema and the owner is the Postgres user. Now when I try to access the object means the table employees from the Joe user, it will not be accessible to me. So let's try it. So this is not accessible and it says that permission denied for the table employees. So how I can give the grant to the employees table so to verify that i can also show you if the grant is available or not okay now if i show you the hr schema employees table got the access only to postgres user so postgres is the owner data owner of this uh, table of this object so postgres user got all the access but we don't have any access for the joe user that's why uh, it says that permission denied so how we can grant the access to joe user so this is the syntax grant select select means it can only read the data and on keyword then the object name with schema you can this is optional you can mention or not and then the username to the keyword to and then the user so let me grant the user okay it is done now if i verify again so here we can see the user go called Zoo got the access to read the data. Now I will go to the Dweaver where I have logged in as the Joe user. Now I'll try to access the data and it should be accessible to me. So here I can access the data as a Zoo user from the employees table of HR schema. So now I'll show you how we can give the grant of insert to the Joe user on the same table. The insert privilege will allow the other user to insert the data into the in PostgreSQL it is possible to allow the insert on particular columns as well as on the complete row first I'll show you how we allow to grant on particular columns so here I have allowed for name and salary columns let's verify that so here you can see that I have allowed the column privileges name and salary to the Joe user. Now again I will allow all the columns so when I want to allow all the columns so I don't need to mention any columns here it will automatically take all the columns of the table. So here if you see the Joe user got at the table level insert privilege. To grant the insert privilege we use the same syntax grant and then the keyword insert on then remaining things are same now i'll try to give the update privilege to the user joe 
for update privilege as well we can do the same thing either we can allow update on particular column or we can allow update on the whole table so first i'll try to explain the update command on the particular column that is the salary column so i'll give the grant for it so i have given and now i'll show so here you can see that the column salary got the update privilege as well now i'll give the update privilege as a whole table so it is also done now i can verify that as well so here i can show you that the user joe got the update command on the complete table similarly we can give the grant for the delete if uh, i show you the user joe is able to delete or not delete from this table so it says that permission denied for the table employees that means the joe user does not have the permission to delete the data from table now i'll give the access to so that it can delete okay so i have given the grant to delete now i can verify that as well so here if you see this lowercase d stands for deleting we have given the access now if i try to perform the same thing it should remove the data the data are removed if i select the data there should be no data present okay that means i was able to delete the data after that we can also give the truncate privilege to other users so if now i try to perform the truncate from the joe user it will fail because we don't have the privilege to perform the truncate so now let me give the access of truncate to user joe so grant is given if i verify them so the uppercase d stands for the truncate option so we have given the truncate privilege to joe user next is the references the references grant also we give it is to permit the creation of foreign key constraints that means the user joe if i give the reference grant to user joe it can create the foreign key on the tables of hr schema table so let me give the grant of references we have given and we can verify that so this lowercase x stands for the references privilege given to the user joe also we can give the privilege of trigger to user that means any trigger on employees can be triggered if the user joe perform the specific event so i am granting this trigger privilege to joe user the lowercase t stands for the privilege for trigger given to the user joe okay so we have already seen some basic grant options now there is a note that it is also possible to grant multiple privileges in one statement and also we can grant to multiple users as well in the same statement so let me revoke the grants to show you this thing so i have revoked all the privileges i had given to the joe user in one statement and if i verify that so we'll find that there is no privileges now for the table employees to the user joe that means we have removed all the access from the user joe so now it is possible not to write separate statement to give one one privileges we can do at once so i have written grant and then whatever the privileges i want to give grant truncate delete update insert select references and trigger and on this table to the user joe and the user postgres so i have given the grant now let me verify it now we can see that postgres user already had that access but now joe user got the access of all these things if we give the privilege to create that means the user called joe or the user any user to which we are giving the privilege they can get the permission to create any new objects in a database or a schema so here i am trying to granting the privilege on a schema so for that grant create on schema then the public on schema public to the user joe will be given so the grant is given now i'll create this table in the public schema by connecting to the joe user now i have connected to the public schema of company database and i'll try to create the table the table is created in the public schema because i have already given the privilege to create it 
the next is connect privilege the connect privilege allows a user a role connecting to the database usually it is already given when a role is created but from security point of view we can always grant and revoke this privilege so let's give the privilege of connect to the database jo that uh, it's uh, it, it is already having but we are giving it explicitly next is giving the privilege of uh, execute so the privilege of execute will allow a user to call a function or a procedure because the function and procedures are known as the executable objects of the database so now let me give the access we have a function called calculate bonus in the hr schema i'll show you so to this function we are going to give the grant to the user joe so the grant is given to the user called joe the next privilege is uses this grants access to schemas or procedural language so we can give the uses privilege to a user called joe on a schema called project schema that means the user joe can have the access to the schema as a whole to the project schema if you see we have a schema called project schema here and also we can give the select permission to a specific object as well so let me show you so now we have given the access to jo user on this table called the task also we can use the usage permission over a language the language here we are using the procedural language that is the pl pg sql language that means the user jo can have the ability perform any procedural operations using the pl pg sql language now the grant is given to the jo user on the pl pg sql now we should be able to create any procedural language objects using the jo user so for that i'll create one function called calculate due date function as a jo user in the project schema so here i have connected as a jo user into the project schema now let me create this function so the function is created i can verify that as well so the function calculate due date is created here that means the user jo is able to create a function or a procedure any procedural language that is pl pg sql language it can use it as of now we have seen how we can give the privileges now we'll see how we can restrict the privileges one example we have already seen now i'll show you how we can do it again let's verify the current access currently jo got all these access but we'll revoke two access delete and update from the jo user the access is revoked now we can verify that so here we can see jo got all these accesses but now two access are removed that is the delete and update access also in one statement we can revoke all the accesses as well that i have already shown you so all the accesses of uh, employees table from jo user is taken if i go and perform the select operation so it will not allow because the permission is denied and we can verify that see here the jo user does not have any access over the table called employees there is some special privilege concept one is the grant option the grant option allows the recipient to grant the privilege to other users as well so for example say we had given the grant to the jo user so the jo user cannot give grant to other user because the user jo is not the owner of the object but if we give the grant option to the user jo user jo the user jo can give grant to other users as well so for that we follow this syntax grant select on the object then to user or role then the keyword with grant option so let me give this one so the grant is given with the grant option and also we can perform the changing of ownership of the super user or the current user the current user is the postgres of this table employees but we are going to change it to the ownership to user called jo so for that we use the alter table command not the grant or revoke command so for that we have alter table then the table name then owner to jo so now we can ver verify that so the table is altered and the owner is now jo we can verify them now the user jo got all the accesses and here you can see the owner has changed to jo earlier it the owner was used to be the postgres now all the accesses are gone to the user called jo because we have changed the ownership from postgres to 
the job. There are some default privileges. Some privileges are granted to public by default for specific objects such as execute on functions or connect on databases because when we create them that comes by default. However, owners can revoke these default privileges as well due to enhancement of security. One example could be the revoking of connect privileges on any database. So we can revoke this privilege. So the privilege of connecting to the company database is removed. We cannot connect to the company database using anything except the super user. So this was all about the privileges in PostgreSQL. We have seen how we can give the privilege using the grant command and how we can remove the access or privilege using the revoke command. In the next video, we will see the ACL privileges. ACL stands for access control list. If the video was helpful, do like the video and subscribe the channel to get the notifications for upcoming videos. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.